Sorry, I dropped my phone. <laughs> Where was I? Ice lemon pound cake. Okay, this. Hmm. Um, what I'm smelling here? And it's another one that I left upstairs. I can just bonk myself on the head with this one. Okay, yes, it's got the ice lemon pound cake. It's got the cake. It's got some citrus. It's not really pronounced on the lemon. But you know what would go with I just a hint of a nuttiness, maybe like Sol de Janeiro. I had the Brazilian Crush before they changed it to Chirosa. I'm not sure it's 72 or 60 something. Anyway, it's a nice warm macadamia, and the nutty part with this matched together. I I get I get shades of Lyra. And I have a little decant of Lyra. I'm getting some, not subtle shades of Lyra, but big shades of Lyra. Okay, and we all know how much Lyra costs, so. I mean, I love this. I just wish I would have gotten it in the cream, you know, or the lotion or, yeah. Anyway, so what else have I got? Oh, hello, baby. Oh, I got two Fiji Sunshines. Actually, I got three. I took one out, and I'm using it now. That is beautiful. I didn't think much of it at first. Then I took a second sniff. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is mine. Uh, Sunkissed Guava, Fresh Orange, and Seaside Jasmine. Now, with that one... been open, I believe. Oh, God. With the guava and passion fruit. I know this doesn't have passion fruit, but you know what I would layer that with? <laughs> Pardon me. J-Lo's Miami Glow. Oh, yes, your tropical salad. I mean, <laughs> this is, ooh. This would go with the Fiji Sunshine and the uh, Passion Fruit uh, Banana Flower, one that, yeah, you know which one I'm talking about. This would layer more perfectly with that, but also with this too. But I don't know. The banana flower one is it. It's more the vibe, and I hate using vibe so much because I hear it all the time. Um, but they go together. I mean, they go great together. What else do I have? Island. Oh, Sea Island Shore. Okay, so this one is clean cotton, orange blossom, blue freesia, and ocean musk. I've never known an ocean to be musky, but okay. God, this smells so... This is so clean. I mean clean. I mean, we're talking... Fresh, clean, laundry, clean. Holy moly, I like that. Oh my gosh, that's nice. What I, what's in this bag? White citrus. Now, I'm already using the body cream, uh, body sh uh, the shower gel in this one. Our bathroom, it's, it's a nice big master bathroom. And 
the bedroom is the other side of the wall. And my boyfriend every morning says, that stuff's powerful. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> he goes, that smells really good. He won't use it, though. He's more of a Old Spice and Irish Spring guy, which, hey, I'm not knocking that. I think that smells so good. What can I say? I'm old school. When it comes to men's fragrances. Anyway, so there's that. What have I got? Oh, Sting of Body Cream. Oh. Sea Island Shore Body Cream and the Fiji Sunshine Body Lotion. Can't wait to give those a toss about. And more, oh, more lotion. Okay, hello, Denny. Oh, look what I got. Dog, don't knock over my phone. I've already done that. I got two fairy tales. One feet, another feet, sunshine, and a dark kiss body lotion. Um, boy, I'm going to go hog wild on this stuff. I'm going to marinate myself. Uh, and I got Twilight Woods and Fairy Tale um, Shower Gel. And the last package in the box. Oh. Yeah, I already did that. Um, are the body cream. So I got, I'm trying to finagle this so y'all can see it. And I'm not doing a good job. But anyway, I have two fairy tales in the middle and two dark kiss. You know. I cannot wait to try the, the, the Ferragamo um, Mysteriosa with the Dark Kiss. I cannot, I literally cannot wait. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the stuff back, nice and neat. You know, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm talking to my boyfriend about building me a shelf in the extra bedroom so I can display everything. That would be nice because I see so many other, um, Fragheads and their videos have such nice shelves and everything, you know. And here you can see half my blind and my couch and my gray hair. Um, so that's coming. So and I'm going to try and make it nice for y'all because I know y'all don't want to see a big old dingy house. Let's see what's wrong with this trailer trash here. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway. And now for the bag that I got the day after, which is, oh, gee, looky, another fairy tale. Um, I do have a decant of Lieb, 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 anyway, Lieb, YSL Lieb, and it had, it has certain echoes of this, um, I have like that much left in my decant, so I think it's time for me to just order a, a like a one ounce bottle so I can layer it over this. I don't want to overkill though, but you know, if it smells good, my boyfriend says I smell good, then it's worth it, you know. Um, and two more in this bag. Actually, I got these two free because I had eight rewards at the time, so. One is Midnight Amber Glow. This is the body lotion. God, I love this. This is so good. It's got that little coffee amber note to it that I adore. And you're the one, which is, you know. This smells so perfumey. I don't think I even need a, a lotion or even a body wash in this. What I normally do is I get the Cetaphil Shea that is um, body lotion that is unscented. What I do is I put some in the middle of my hand and then I spray some of this in it, mix it up and the slather, slather it all over me and I'm good to go. And it does project. Of course, I get hot flashes so I might, you know, I might not, not have it twice there. Um, hey, but it works. Okay. Then my last purchase from, not my last, but you know what I mean. Um, what the? Oh yeah, I think I cleaned them out at the store. 
Rosewood smoke. This is very interesting because I like smoky stuff. I, I, I really do. And I think the reason why is because growing up, the the men in the household always barbecued and smoked. And I like a good smoked brisket, okay? I'm not saying this smells like smoked brisket. Rosewood smoke. Uh, rosewood and smoke. Ew, excuse me. Um, but I just like the smell of a campfire. You know, it's just... Some people don't, but that does smoke to me. It does. Um, a woodsy smoke fragrance inspired by an evening campfire in deep woods. Okay. Does it say anything else about the notes? As light as air mist, that is easy to layer. For a great fragrance experience. This is a cologne mist. Well, I guess the notes are just rosewood and smoke. You know, it doesn't have the description of the notes like some of the, like a fragrance mist. So, oh, I got a white tea and ginger. God, this is nice. And you know what would smell exceptional with this? Because it has such close similarities i i think and that would be jlo's still it's the one with the the earl gray note and then you got the white tea note here and uh, <laughs> it just sounds divine it really does nice and summery uh and i got one two three three more of the whipped coconut milkshake this is one of my boyfriend's favorites I've got another body cream. See? Um, another Sunset Glow uh, shower gel. Because it smells so good. Fresh coconut and cotton shower gel. And the last one is another whipped coconut milkshake. Wow. Okay. Kind of redundant. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, also, what I happened to find in one of their bins was a bonfire bash. <laughs> I, I gotta spray this on. See, now, what I, I don't know if this is a thing with fragrance mists. I don't even think it applies to fragrance mists. Some of y'all help me out on this, okay? I might just be gone Lulu, okay? But, okay, so you know how some fragrances, especially Middle Eastern fragrances, you have to kind of let them sit for a little bit and macerate. Macerate. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I got the body lotion too. Um... I don't know how long this has been sitting in their back back 40 whatever 21 2021 so this has been around since 2021 maybe okay so this is a couple years old but you know what it still smells smoky vanilla like Vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, cashmere musk. You know, I, I, I can probably never get enough of that. Really, never, ever, ever get enough of that. Now, what I need to tell you here is, pardon me, I have to leave here. Um, I have another haul here. And I know usually I should do two hauls, two separate hauls for these. But this is kind of like a teaser, okay? I'm a huge fan of alt fragrances. I've had great experiences with them. I've also had experiences, a great experience with Alexandria Duke Houses. Also, but my favorite one, Okja, yes. Love the Okja. I love the fact that it's, when you spray it on, you see like a shininess. 
and it is some of them are pretty nuclear i mean we're talking um but that's not the one which is the one that you know moira i think i should have wrote down the notes i'm so sorry about that 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 was stupid okay swevin oh this is how they come okay it's so cool okay and it's magnetic right here and okay this is a very snug lid you know a heavy plastic not bad swevin is the dupe for back wrap 40 uh, back wrap back wrap 540 back right rouge 540 there i said it right this oh okay don't spray yourself on the face danny Whew. okay i don't know if you can see it's it's shiny it's shiny it is oh my god look at that <laughs> you see that it is shiny and it's oil so it's an oil i guess it it's highly concentrated and i had a a vial not even a 10 mil or 5 mil just a little vial of the 540 and you cannot tell the difference these guys did an exceptional job on this formula it, it's magic it's just awesome um i love it and what else did i get kalon i think that was gentle fluidity gold correct me if i'm wrong people please now this one the cap it kind of hit hit or miss with the caps because this one comes out way too easy so as a general rule just be careful lifting it up like that because i mean well i keep mine in the box but yeah good job Danny. this I don't know. To me, it smells like pencil shavings. I, like I'm back in in school, and you got that <laughs> pencil sharpener. You got to turn. <laughs> yeah, it's. I don't know what it reminds me of. No, oh, that might not be my favorite. But okay, during the shutdown. During the pandemic shutdown, I went crazy. Okay, I'll admit this. I don't care. Judge me all you want. I don't care. Um, I lost my job, and I was on top of the unemployment that California was giving me. Uh, they added a lot of extra money there. So I socked a lot of it away because I, I was still job searching. But... I don't know, things manifest itself in weird ways. I was not very happy in the relationship I was in was, let's just say evil. Um, so I started spending the extra money after about five months of being on that. Um, I took one of the uh, benefits and the, the pay and I bought perfume. It just made me feel better. I don't know why. It's some people have drugs, some people have food. I had perfume. <laughs> um, bought a lot of high end stuff too, and I bought a lot of Tom Ford. I bought a lot of Creed, which I ended up selling anyway when I left my ex. Um, and that helped me. That helped get me through some tough times. But anyway, I digress. One of the fragrances that I bought was Killian's Love, Don't Be Shy. Now, they're saying that it's Rihanna's signature fragrance. Who do we know? I mean, how do we know that? I mean, yes, I saw the video where her friend was giving up the, spilling the tea on that, and she's looking like she's angry at him, because why do you tell everybody? Um, she, that woman's got so much money. How do we know that's her favorite perfume? You know, just because she wore it, maybe. I don't know, but 
All of a sudden, it just took a whole new life of its own. Oh, it's her favorite fragrance. So, like, who cares? But I bought it anyway because I heard a lot of other buzz about it. That it was sweet. I bought her out. Oh, the Swebin. Mm. Um, I heard it was very marshmallowy sweet. So, and I had a marshmallow fragrance, which was Dolce & Gabbana, uh, La Femme. And very sweet, very marshmallowy, and I love marshmallows. So Sweet Addict, in comparison to Love Don't Be Shy, this is another, really? Oh, good. They hit it out of the ballpark on this one. Okay, it is practically identical. Now, there's a lot of people buzz out there that say, oh, it smells just like it. Okay, I understand that. That's great, but I like to judge for myself, right? They nailed it. They just, they nailed it. So, I'm going to tell you, I got one, two, three, four more coming. One of them is sinful, which I used up the whole bottle, and that's the Tom Ford lost cherry dupe and dupe they did. I like Alt Cherry Smash. It has kind of more of a smokier smell than the Okja version, but the Okja version has more of that moist pipe tobacco. My dad used to smoke a pipe and oh, the smell of a fresh, moist cherry tobacco. Oh my God, it smells so good. <laughs> anyway, that's what I get from the Oaksha version. Uh, it's called Sinful. And I ordered the, um, I think it's the Libra version. I also ordered the Donna Born in Roma version. I wish I could tell you the names right now, but my mind just went. Um, and two other ones. And I also get a free mystery fragrance. I can't wait for that. Um, and I also ordered from eBay. Yes, everybody says don't order from eBay. But these guys, I know two friends of mine that are frag heads like me. And it's from Forever Lux. And they have an eBay store. And I ordered Contour Sud Pacific Aloha Tiari. I got Montel's, um, what is it, the really intense cafe. I ordered holidays from Ansara because I'm kicking myself for selling mine a couple years ago. And the other one is, what is the other one? Yeah, I've just gone, my mind is just gone. My mind is gone, that's it. Anyway, um, oh, I got the little, um, what do you call it, uh, Alexandria Fragrance uh, Italian Caramel, which is, I've had it before. I've had the decant of um, the the um, Zerzhoff one, the one in the red bottle, you know what I mean? Italica, yeah, and I've tried a lot of dupes for that one, and Italian Caramel is the one that comes in pretty close so I have that one coming too so stay tuned for another one and thank you for putting up with my airheadedness today I'm sorry I just must be having an off day or something I don't know anyway um thanks for hanging out with me and I hope to do it again soon if you haven't already please subscribe this way I can keep doing these videos and I'll get that comment section fixed I promise I'm working on it okay uh, gotta feed my dog, gotta feed my vegetable garden, and uh, who knows, we might uh, have another haul in another week. I know last I said last time, yeah, it took two, three weeks. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will, I promise you, I will do more interaction with you and get more videos up because I know we're all fragheads. <laughs> anyway, have a good rest of your day. Talk to you soon.